Hi there, this is Alejandro with Aos Computers. Um, uh, two laptops that I like a lot. Uh, one is the uh, ThinkPad X230. Uh, the Novo ThinkPad business laptop. 12.5 uh, inch screen. Uh, IPS uh, LCD. Intel Core i5, 4 gigs of RAM. Actually, this one is 8 gigs of RAM. Um, Solid state drive. Um, it has webcam, finger, fingerprint reader. It's a very nice, very light laptop, very good battery life. And on the other side, I have the MacBook Pro Retina Display 2014. Uh, also, a very nice computer, which I'm surprisingly using as my main laptop right now. Intel Core i5, 2.4 gigahertz. 4 gigs of RAM, solid state drive 128, um, aluminum case, it has USB 3, HDMI, uh, webcam, uh, traditional logo, Apple logo on the back, very thin, very light, very uh, uh, nice computer. <coughs> All right, so if we go to the MacBook Pro 2014, this is the latest uh, MacBook Pro that just came out on the market. Um, my favorite things about it is that even though it's an Ultrabook, it has uh, a full mobile processor, Intel Core i5. So it's has, it has plenty of power to do most tasks that you will throw at it. The reason why I got it is because I do web design. Um, the LCD screen, it's the Retina display. It has a very high resolution. We'll take a look at it when we come to the About This Mac. Then more info. Then you can see right there. It has, this one has 4 gigs of RAM. It's the Intel Iris uh, integrated graphics card. The display resolution is 2880 per 1800, 13-inch inch screen. You can even adjust the display resolution to be a little lower than that if that's too high. You will come on the system preferences, then go on display, and then you can select uh, 1440 per 900 or best for retina, which will make all the icons everything a little bit bigger. I like to have more real estate on my screen, so I choose uh, to have the the higher resolution uh, on my laptop, so that I have more real estate on my display. Um, this computer uh, has a backlight keyboard. Let's see if you can see it there. It has a very very nice touchpad. I'd say uh, I've used many laptops and. The, lab, the MacBook touchpad is by far the best one you can use. Um, really thin and light. On this side, it has um, two Thunderbolt ports, which is the same, the mini display port, USB 3. It has an um, audio microphone, two microphone, stereo microphones on the audio. This is uh, for the charger right here. Then we turn it around. On the other side it has an SD card reader, has a full HDMI, and another USB 3. Main things I like about this computer, really nice design, really solid filter, it feels like it's a really uh, good computer that will last for a long time. Um, and the power, very good power, full processor uh, with 4 gigs of RAM and a really fast solid state drive. But the main, main thing about this computer, the nicest LCD you can get on the market for a laptop right now, the Retina Display. Okay, so on the other side, we have the ThinkPad X230, Lenovo ThinkPad X230. Lenovo, I should say, it's been always my favorite brand of laptops. Uh, along the years, I've used many Lenovo ThinkPads. I think they are really strong computers, they last a long time. It's very difficult for you to break them, um, even if you drop them. 
sometimes you'll be surprised that nothing happens to it. This particular model, the X230, is a 12.5 inch. It has IPS display, so it has a very good, uh, very good, uh, very good viewing angles. Um, the resolution is small. The resolution on this display, it's um, 1366 per 768. This has the Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM. Um, it has, it's very light, like an ultra book. Even though it's a laptop, it's not really an ultra book. I like the um, little um, touchpad, although it's not as nice as the touchpad on the on the MacBook. I like the ultra navigation that you can use the red button in the middle, uh, in the middle of the keyboard, and just use it as your mouse, and then use left and right click. This one came with Windows 8. I'm not a big fan of Windows 8. Although I do recognize that is the way to go, is the way um, everybody should be moving because it has uh, many more functionalities than Windows 7. Uh, this computer also has um, a webcam fingerprint reader. It has a good battery life. Um, you can use a docking station with it. Let me see if you can see it right there. Yep. It has the backlight keyboard too, where you can um, also turn it off and turn on the thing light up here. But if you press again, you turn on the backlight. You can see it uh, now on the back of the underneath the keyboard. You see the light. It's brighter there than the thing light. Then I turn it off. So. This has on one side, I don't think you can see it, but on one side there is two USB 3 VGA port, display port. On the other side uh, there is an always on USB or USB 2 uh, SD card reader, uh, Ethernet port, and the microphone. Uh, headphone jack. This computer you could have an extended life battery which would stick out a little bit and give you more battery life. That, I don't have it on this particular one but it's a nice option to have. Overall it's a great computer. My favorite things about this computer the Lenovo keyboard. It's by far the best keyboard you can use on a laptop. Uh, ultra navigation if you're someone who gets tired of using the touchpad sometimes, or if the touchpad is not so responsive, like it's the case on this computer, uh, I like the fact that it has the IPS display. Graphics and viewing angles are really good, although it has a very small resolution. The processor is good, Intel Core i5 at 2.4. RAM memory is also good, 8 gigs of RAM, so that makes it really fast. Lenovo computers are really reliable, very good computers. Now. Even though I have used ThinkPad laptops for many years, and I just got my first MacBook Pro uh, from Fry's Electronics, I gotta say um, I have found the MacBook to be so easy to use, and the fact that I have an iPhone too, and that integrates with my calendar, my email, everything just syncs automatically. Uh, I've been using the MacBook quite a lot, so I'm gonna say. If I had to choose between one of them, my favorite uh, business computer, my new uh, MacBook Pro, I'll say I'm very happy with my MacBook and that would be my choice. You will make yours but uh, that was kind of my little review um, according to my experience of the nice features and why you would go for one and not the other. Overall, very good computers.